Okay, so here's a quick little video on something that I can't believe I didn't know about uh, until recently anyway, and it's in regards to generating optimized media. Now, I've been generating optimized media for a long time now. Um, I even did a video on this in the past, but I didn't actually realize that there's a quick and easy way to generate optimized media for only the files that you've actually used in a timeline. And you might say, well, if I'm gonna edit a timeline, I need all the media to be optimized to begin with, and, and that's fine if that's the case, go for it. Just do the standard way. But if you run into a scenario like I have where the edit is pretty straightforward, it may be just a few cuts, um, or I'm not having to play it back real time, then I don't care that it's a little bit choppy. But where it becomes completely unplayable is when I start adding color grading and all that sort of stuff. So let's just go through it real quick and, and hopefully this will make sense and maybe you can use this and it will help you. So um, just to recap, you have to click down the bottom right corner of this project settings and make sure that your optimized media format is something lower than your source footage. So let's say mine was ProRes 422 um, HQ to begin with. Well, I'm gonna use ProRes 422 Proxy. Just use a more optimized codec. So we'll save that. So that's step one. Um, otherwise, when we go to generate optimized media, it's not going to work. Also, uh, you want to make sure when you play it back that it's going to use it. So on this playback up here, you want to make sure there's a little tick there next to use optimized media if available. And that's good. So then the last step is to actually generate your optimized media. And what I would normally do is come in my media tab, find the footage that I want to uh, optimize, select it all, right click and say generate optimized media. That's fine, but you know, what I've actually cut out of this, it could be just very quick, few little snippets out of a whole lot of footage. So I don't necessarily wanna wait until that all renders. So instead, I just quickly cut things together because I don't care if I can play it back real time. So here I'll even show you, I think it should be, see how choppy that is? So um, that's my timeline, that's my little, b-roll so I'll just select all of that right click and choose generate optimized media and that's it no that was quick actually I sped that up so now let's play back and see how how we're doing nice and smooth I'll just jump ahead here See, no slowdowns at all. I've been doing it the other way all this time. Um, maybe you have to, or maybe you're just getting into this and you won't make the mistake because you're learning about this right off the bat. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next one. And thank you so much for watching.